In the latest Premiere Pro version 23 update, there's some cool new features in there that when I first discovered them, my mind was like, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through what those features are so you have a good understanding of how to use them. So in order to access these new features, you wanna make sure that you've updated to the latest version of Premiere Pro, which is gonna be version 23.0. Once you've done that, go ahead and select the type tool down here and then click anywhere within your frame and we're gonna create some text. Then go ahead and go up here to window and turn on the essential graphics tab and that should open up over here. Once that's happened, go ahead and select the edit tab if it's not already been done for you and then click on your text until it's been highlighted completely. And we'll go ahead and increase the size of this really quick so it's easy to see. And then we'll go ahead and center it up within the frame. And now we're gonna go down here to stroke and we're gonna go ahead and turn that on. And the reason being is because this is our first new feature. You now have the ability to create an outer, inner, or center stroke. So what you can do is go ahead and let's make a linear gradient on our stroke. So we'll go ahead and pick some random colors real quick. And then we'll go ahead and increase the size of this. And you can select outer, inner, or even center. And crazy enough, this is something that hasn't always been in Premiere. So we'll go ahead and we'll select an outer stroke. And if you want, you can now create an additional stroke so go ahead and click anywhere. We'll make this an additional linear gradient and we'll change up the colors as well. And then press OK. And we'll go ahead and increase the size of that as well. And that just gives you a cool new way to be able to stylize your text. So the next cool new feature we have is a huge time saver. And that's the ability to be able to bulk edit text. So in order to do this, all you're going to do is go ahead and select all the different text layers on your timeline. And as you can see, it will open up this little appearance section here. And now if you wanted to, you could completely change the font. You can also go in here and change the fill. You can change the actual background if you wanted to add some drop shadow. This saves so much time because you don't have to go through the trouble of duplicating one specific piece of text and then changing every single one of the words throughout your entire timeline. You can change everything in an instant with this new bulk edit feature. Now this next new feature can really save you the headache when it comes to editing and aligning text. So what you can do is this is all going to be done within one specific text clip and it's gonna be involving multiple different text layers. So I'm gonna go ahead and in order for this feature to work, you need to select every single one of those text layers and then it's going to open up this new little work section here. And you have a few different options here. And the first one that I'm going to select is align to selection. And what I wanna do is go ahead and select align to bottom. And what that's gonna do is that's going to align all of my text to the very bottom most piece of text on that clip. So 50K was the lowest text in this clip, so everything will align to that. So once I've done that, now if I wanna go ahead and center everything up, you can see that in Premiere Pro, it crushes everything together. But in this new update, there's actually this new selection which is aligned to video frame as group. And what you can do is it will center up this entire group within the frame instead of crushing everything together. And if you wanna make these spaces in between the text here even as well, what you can do is just go over here and select this distribute space horizontally and that will one, center it up within the frame as well as evenly space it out between the text. Long gone are those days of having to go down into safe margins and make sure that your stuff was centered up correctly. Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video. Edit like a pro by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.